Hi, this is our second example of we need to decide if a precipitate will form. Uh, where are we at? Will a precipitate, precipitate form? Are we saturated or are we um, unsaturated? So here's how the question is asked. It's a little bit different from our first example. It says that lead iodide is placed into a beaker. And so after um, some time, we go ahead and uh, find the concentration of the lead. The lead is measured to be 0.013 molar. And then look at this question. Is this solution saturated or can more iodine dissolve? Um, so let's go ahead and find out. I am going to take a little picture so that we can mentally visualize what's happening here. We are going to dissolve this lead iodide inside of here. Remember for every one lead, two iodide um, are going to break apart. Now the KSP value on this, I'll actually just write it underneath here. KSP for the lead iodide is 9.8 times 10 to the minus nine. 9.8 times 10 to the minus nine. That is really small, uh, much less than one, which tells us we're very, very uh, reactant favored. Um, this right here, the lead iodide will barely break apart. It will barely dissociate. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and write out this dissociation equation. One of the first places I start, I'll visualize and write down what's happening with the beaker. So I have a picture of it in my head um, and then I write the equation. So we're going to have the lead iodide and two moles of the iodine right there. We want to know, is this at equilibrium, which means it's saturated, um, or can we dissolve more? Um, or could it be um, past saturation? We'll talk about that. Um, so really what they're asking is, hey, we got this number at this particular moment. How does that compare to KSP? Are we saturated? Are we equilibrium? So really what we're looking for is at a moment, what's the ratio of products to reactants? And that is called QSP, QSP. So QSP is going to be our same equation of products over reactants where it will be the lead two times the iodine, and the iodine is going to be squared. The iodine will be squared. Um, so we can plug in the concentrations that we have here, and we'll see what QSP is, and then simply just compare it to KSP. Um, now, I do have the concentration as a lead, 0.0135, but I also need the concentration of iodine. So let's find out that concentration. I'll just do some simple stoichiometry. You can probably already see it in your head, but I'll work it just in case you don't see it. Um, 5.0135 uh, moles per liter of lead ion. Okay, so if I dropped this lead iodide into the water, produced 0.0135 moles of lead, let's find out how many moles of iodine. It's a one to two molar ratio. Well, one mole of lead is produced um, when every two moles of iodide is produced. So that means we are going to have 0 0.0270 moles of moles per liter, the molarity of the iodide. Um, you maybe saw and, and went, oh, if this is 0.0135, then that one has to be twice as much. Um, and that's because we started with the lead iodide and this exactly will break apart according to molar ratios. For every one mole of lead iodide that uh, dissociates off one mole of lead and two moles of that iodide. Okay, so now I have the concentration of I. Let's go ahead and plug into this. That means that our QSP is going to equal, let's see, the lead was the 0 0.0135 molar times the 0 0.0270 molar and be careful that squared. I have to um, carry that square. So if we do 0 0.027 squared times 0 0.0135 QSP, check it out, equals 9.8 times 10 to the minus 9. So now I have to compare this to KSP. Well KSP, one more time, KSP equals 9.8 times 10 to the minus 9. So what, did that, what does that tell us? These numbers are the same. QSP equals KSP. That means this is saturated. Saturated. That is saturated. So what can we gather from this? Well, I can tell 
the reader right off is not going to dissolve anymore. We have hit saturation. This is at equilibrium. Um, but to answer the question, did it precipitate? We actually need more info on this. We would need to know exactly how much lead iodide was put in there. Um, if we had any more than this exact amount, yeah, there would be a precipitate, but they didn't tell us how much they put in here. Um, they just told us that once they put it in, they took the concentration of the lead and that lead is 0.0135. Well, it's saturated. So either they put in the exact amount just to saturate it, or if they put even a little bit more in, once it hits saturation, remember it can't make any more, it will go in reverse and it will produce a solid. So not enough information to say if it's um, precipitated, uh, but we can definitely say it can't dissolve anymore. It's saturated, it's reached equilibrium. We need one more piece of information to know exactly how much they put in there to see if it was beyond, if they actually put in more than that amount. We just know that in the beaker, we have 0.0135. It means it's dissolved the maximum amount, saturated equilibrium. Okay, good work. Uh, if you didn't catch the first example, go to the solubility playlist. Other great helps on solubility in that playlist. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.